Sam Cooperman of Global Basketball here with Paul Mokeski, the new head coach of the Muckton Miracles of the NBL Canada. Of course, many of you may know him from his playing days in the NBA, most notably with Milwaukee. But Paul is here taking in some talent of session B and first day of it. So, Paul, what did you think about the talent level that you saw it here on the first day of session B of the GBSL? Well, uh, like a lot of people know, um, Las Vegas is the center of uh, basketball in July, and there's uh, camps and, and, and leagues going on all over the place. One thing that with the global uh, uh, organization, they run a first-class deal. They got great referees. They do it organized. It's done in a setting where uh, a coach and GM like myself can really evaluate the players because there's literally a thousand players here in in uh, Las Vegas right now trying to make teams and. Uh, it's a great setting to do so. And uh, the talent level, what I've seen so far today, is on par or above most of the other tryouts. So there's a few players that I have my eye on that I'm going to keep an eye on for the next day or so to see how they perform on a consistent basis. Not a one day deal, but a, a two or three day deal. So, Paul, when you talk about evaluating talent at this level, as an errant ball comes out of play here, when you talk about evaluating talent at this level, what exactly are you looking for in a potential player to bring up to Muckton in your first year with the team? Well, I'm looking for talent, obviously. Can they shoot, dribble, pass? But I'm also looking for basketball IQ, how hard they play, how they get along with their teammates, uh, how they would fit in my system. I'm a very fast-paced team. I, I like to play, get up and down. I need three-point shooters that know how to play, know how to take the shot when it's there, and uh, pass the ball when it's there, when, it, when their teammates open. So uh, I'm looking for players that will fit into my system, uh, that have the talent, but also, uh, you, you know, I like to see how they interact with their teammates, with the referees, with the coaches they have now. It's very important. Uh, if you want to be a winning basketball team, uh, you have to have players that are on the same page as you are. And when you talk about that players being on the same page, when you look at this tournament, do you exactly, how do you exactly factor in the circumstance of this? Guys coming in here first day, maybe an hour of practice with these guys, Max, new coaches, refs of different styles. How exactly do you factor in all of this when you evaluate talent to bring to, over to Canada? Well, when you play professional basketball, you have to adapt. So uh, when you play at home, things can go smoothly and you sleep in the same bed and you eat the same meal. But when you go on the road, your flight might be late, your bus might break down, you're in a different uh, environment, uh, and things change rapidly. So to see players in this situation where they have to adapt and be able to, you know, to, to be able to perform at a high level, no matter what the situation, uh, I think it enhances uh, us as evaluators of talent and players of uh, what they can do for us down the, the, the road in the long run. That's Paul Mikowski, new coach in the NBL Canada. Paul, thank you for the time. Appreciate it, Sam.